I am a proud alumni of Willow Ridge High School and a former member of the Willow Ridge High School marching band. Today you have a really, really, really special treat. I'm so honored. These are some friends of ours, um, and they have a story that will not only impact your life, but it will change your life. I need you to pay attention. And the biggest part I want you to pay attention to is choices. One wrong choice will change your life forever. Tell y'all my name is Ryan Henry to tell y'all today about choices and decisions. And one of the reasons is because they play a part in your life each and every day. When I was younger, you know, my mother and father, they were together. <clears throat> When they ended up getting divorced, I took my stuff at night. It took me a while before I realized that regardless if my parents were together or regardless if we have parents that's there or they're not there, at the end of the day, your life still is in your hand. I was 16 in December of 1995, I got arrested. 1997, I was sentenced to 35 years in prison for murder. It's not nothing to brag about, it's not fun, you know. It's just something, it's something that happened because I made the wrong decision. One, I, I didn't have to go where I was going. I didn't have to do a whole lot of the stuff I was doing. But I was basing all my decisions on the fact that my daddy was going to tell you. can't use that as no excuse. My daddy ain't there, my mom ain't there. Because at the end of the day, if you get in trouble, and something happened to you, you're going to be the one paying for that. I know y'all have friends or whatever, and I'm not going to say that your friend's not going to be there for you during certain situations. But for the most part, it's about your family. You know what I mean? Your family is going to always be there for you. They're going to love you. And if you don't have a family, you got to be able to love yourself because if you can't love yourself, you can't really love nobody else. Those of us that do have family and friends, whatever, anytime you do something, it bothers you as well. It's the same for people that's in prison. When you locked up, your people locked out too. You know what I mean? Basically, what I want everybody just to realize is every day you have the right and the choice to make. And it's a choice regardless of what you're going through. My main thing is because it's Everybody always have an excuse. They say everybody got one. And you can make an excuse if you want to, but you don't necessarily have to. You can do what's right. Now, all, every time you do something wrong, every time something happens that might be bad or negative in your life, it don't mean that that's the end of it. It don't mean that you're supposed to lay down and not get back up. Because sometimes you get into a situation, it was just something to open your eyes up. But I'm gonna let my little brother come up and tell y'all how my situation affected him. I can tell you the exact day that I made a decision to change. December 13, 1995. What you don't know is I hung with him. I wanted to be just like him, and I still do. So when he was drinking and smoking, when I was 10, 9, no, really. I was drinking and smoking. None of the today. When he was still in cars, mm. <laughs> I was riding the back. All my examples, and not to say that he's a bad guy, but all my examples were my big brother, and I won't tell you how much I listened to him. <coughs> Before he got locked up, it was a time he just, you can just sometimes really talk, but you don't know the effect that you have on him. He told me one time, he said, Jason, I mean, all you gotta do is get you a bunch of shirts, you can wear the same pair of pants. You know what? Notice your pants and notice your shirt. You keep your shoes clean. When he left, my mama bought me some Nikes in seventh grade. And I guarantee you, if you saw those Nikes, they would look brand new. Because of what he said. That's how much power he had. So if I see my older brother, and he goes to prison, I couldn't let his circumstance, his choice, tell you my destination. When I was 11 years old, I did not care about my circumstances. I did not care that my dad was not there for me. I did not care that he did not love me. I had control of me. That summer, what I thought to be a man is to manage to take care of your family. I never had that, I never had that experience of a man to take care of my family. My brother was gone at 16. 
My dad was gone when I was two or three. I had a lawnmower. I got up early in the morning. Knock on door. Excuse me, sir. Can I cut you off? No. Excuse me, sir. Can I cut you off? 50 yards later. Excuse me, sir. Can I cut you off? No. So I found one of the raggedest yards on the block. I was like, this dude got to give me a chance. So he comes to the door. He said, what can I help you with, son? I said, excuse me, sir. Sure. He was looking at his yard and I was looking at his yard. He's like, how much you want? And I'm a bad man. I don't know nothing about money, but the yard was about this big. I said, uh, I didn't want to give him too big of a price. So I sold myself short. I said, can I cut it for $10? And I saw his face just light up. I don't know why. $10 is a lot to me. He said, yeah, you can cut my yard. Alright. So I get the lawn one. <laughs> I'll start cutting. I cut the front. The front yard is just a breeze. The back door is about this high, hands my knees. The weeds are a lot bigger, the grass is a lot thicker, and I'm pushing. My pace is slow, but I'm still pushing. Slow, but I'm still pushing. One strip, I can get one strip, probably every 12 minutes. It took me two and a half hours to do this. And I'm pushing, and I'm pushing. Next thing I hear is, boom, 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 pow, 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 pow. Long one out. That's your life. How are you when you face adversity? I couldn't walk away, the job wasn't done. How many of us have feel, feel pain when we change? Pain. How many of us have to go through something and we think because we're going in the right direction, the grass is not gonna push back? The circumstances around us are not gonna be easy. And I know it's intense that I'm saying this because that's how intense you have to be about your life. You live and you die by the choices you make, no matter your circumstances. I'm 11 years old. My summers are gone. I will push, I will push, and I will push as far as I have to push to change who I am. We all have materials and everything that we need in our lives to be successful. We just have to learn how to nurture what we have, how to perfect what we have. 